So let's go on to um, the players that are watching this. They're looking for uh, you know college careers. If you're going to watch a player, um, you've been contacted by the player, or you know the club, or you know the team. You know there's going to be some good players there. What are some of the things that you're looking for in a potential college player? College players, you know, the higher levels you can achieve prior to college are always a, a good indicator. So that's why college coaches typically say, make sure to get on as good a club team as you can. Mm -hmm. Make sure to travel so that you get a real taste of what competition's like in your age group. Um, try to develop your game, you know, take charge, be, take ownership of your development. It's not solely in the hands of a coach or whatever. Right. Yep. Um, certainly market yourself. you got to make sure schools that you're interested in are aware that you want to go there. So contact the coach initially by email asking him to come and see you play. Yep. Then be proactive. Say, can I come to your office? You can make unofficial visits at any time in right. your high school uh, you know, uh, continuum, your high school careers. Yep. You know, if nothing prevents you from going at your um, charge to go see a coach, make right. sure you I'd narrow it down to three or four places you'd like to go. Make sure those coaches are aware you're motivated to go there, you want them to see you play. Then once you get in front of them, ask them for feedback. Do you think that they might have a spot for you on their team? The entrance requirements, all the things about having good grades opens up more doors. It's all true. Yep. You want to have as much going for you as you possibly can. But, uh, you know, college coaches want players that are physically gifted, if possible, mm -hmm. that have worked on their skills, very competitive. You can observe some of these things when you go and watch them play. Right. Do they understand the position that they're playing? Their attitudes reflected a lot in how they react to the referee, how they react to each other, their behavior. So you look at those things, and a college coach is looking and saying, could I fit that person into my team? It may not be the exact position he's playing. Right. But, but meeting them and getting to know them a little bit gives you more of a sense, is this the kind of character I want in my right. program? Because once you pick a player, they're kind of with you for a while, you know. It's, mm -hmm. So yeah, years, all those yeah. things are a factor. So um, the more you can get your game out there in front of coaches, climb the ladder of success prior to college, we'll have more and more people aware of you if you have success. Right. You win things with your team, the, the player always gets recognition. Of course. Going on selections, ODP, Academy, try to work yourself up the highest ladder. If you haven't got the advantages of being showcased by some of these high profile teams, then you gotta work a little harder, send videos perhaps. They're limited in their value, but they're better than nothing. Absolutely. And certainly contacting and showing an interest. It's amazing when I was a college coach how I would go an extra mile for somebody that it seemed to be really important to them. There right. was really something that they wanted and sometimes those players work out even though they may not fit exactly what the coach is looking for. So all those factors and most of that good information is getting out there thanks to websites like yours and, and coaching nights that colleges are putting on, college night and so forth. Get questions answered, get your parents involved but you should take ownership of that uh, project. So, let, so let's say you've gone to see one of these players, you've been impressed by the marketing that he's done, if you will, that's the right term. You're watching him, he's doing well, he's doing pretty good, you're thinking, yeah, this guy could work out for us. What are some of the no-no's? What are some of the things where you go, whoa, I didn't like that, that's an immediate kind of, no. What are some of the bad things that they could do? Well, you want to have somebody that is showing effort, certainly if you're not giving effort, that's the first thing that you'd observe, that they're not excited about playing, and. Um, you know, not performing well is not doing your job, not playing your role in the team. Those are things that you'd say, whoa, I'm not sure. Um, obviously, you know, you have to, the way you dress and carry yourself, you know, the small details of how you approach, all kind of send a message, if you will, to, to coaches and to anybody. This is who I am. We do look for confidence. We do look for assertiveness, aggression. You know, you don't want to... Uh, uh, a shine retiring person into challenge and you try to look for people that have the qualities of, of those positions that they're playing you know? okay. so uh, there's no perfect players no. and certainly <clears throat> no one's got all the package all the time but that's why we try to see players more than once so that right. we get some different looks okay okay one recruitment if you're we have soccer with soccer players, high school players looking to be picked up for college coaching and stuff, a college a program. When you're looking at the player, whether it's for a national team or a college, what are you looking for in a player? Um, well, obviously, technical ability. That's just my preference, technical ability. Um, 
how do they play the game? Do they play it? Are they in tune with the game? Uh, are they competing? Uh, are they passionate about how they play? Uh, do they have the work ethic? Uh, you know, and do you think that that player can fit into your system? Uh, because then when they come to your system, um, there's a lot of things already taken care of, right? So, you know, I think some people recruit based first on based on size and athletic ability, um, but it's a soccer game, and you gotta have soccer players. So, the better soccer players you can have for the program, the better soccer you can play. Um, you know, you can have uh, some projects. You know, you have some athletes, and you want to make that's okay too. But um, to me, it's just how can a player, how can that player fit into my team? How can that, how can that player contribute? What's what's a, a real big turn on? What's a big no no? If you're watching a player and thinking, hey, yeah, he or she could fit into my team, and then they all of a sudden do something, you go, that's it, done. Uh, I would say work ethic. Right. If they don't compete. They um, re reflect responsibility in the game, you know. Um, when you lose the ball, yeah. Or you know, it's it, they're never part of anything. You know, in other words, they don't defend. Or, right. They don't score. They're not happy. It's just you know, it's, it's you need individuals, but it's a team sport. How, how are they gonna? You know, am I gonna have to change his personality? And you can't change personality, right? Yeah.